Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Wassalamu wassalam ala Sayyidina Rasulillah Wa Nabi Allah wa Rahmatul Alamin Wa ala alaihi wa sahabihi wa diallahu anhu ajma'in Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin InshaAllah for most of us We are in the uh, second part of Ramadan we finished the first 10 days, and for some of us, we are at the beginning of the last. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. May Allah accept our fast. Alhamdulillah, Kathira. And perhaps in this month of Ramadan, we have some reflection. And perhaps with this month of Ramadan, we have some connection. Those two things go together, reflection and connection. In the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fees be Allah, this is a benefit for the believer. And when it benefits the believer, it's a benefit for his immediate family and his community. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Rabbil Alameen. Because only from the perfect message of Islam do we come to a union of the individual, the family, and the community. And only when we have the individual's Understanding that each breath that we take and merit that we take it has to come together on the level of the individual, the family, and the community. And then will we feel a great change. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this Ramadan for all of us a means for great change. Alhamdulillah, just a couple of days ago we barely saw any leaves on the trees. Now, Alhamdulillah, we see the baby leaves forming on the trees. The weather is beautiful in North America, in the Northeast, about 70 degrees. Take time if this is your first fast as a new Muslim and wet your lips with the words and the calling on of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A beautiful dhikr is Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. A beautiful dhikr is Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah wa Atubu ilayh. Dhikr is the, uh, is the premise to lead you into your salah. So when you're not making salah, make sure that you stay on your mind, calling on Allah by His beautiful names. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And don't let anyone take you away from that. And make sure you're calling on His names a minimum of a hundred times, bi'idna ta'ala, when you wake up, when you make your fajr, and especially after or before your Isha prayer. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdika ashadu ala anta wa astaghfirullah wa tubu alayh. And remember that our Prophet Adam alayhi salatu salam, upon his uh, giving life, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala breathed, put the ruh through his lungs, the soul in his lungs, he immediately said alhamdulillah. He began with dhikr. And he was in a state of dhikr. And it, that's a state that we sustain. Take care. Enjoy your fasting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.